Update drivers. Step 1. Go to search bar, type device manager, and press enter. Step 2. Right click each of the devices, pick update driver, and hit search automatically for updated driver software. Step 3. Restart your computer after the update finishes. Note. You recently updated one of your drivers. Then it's possible that the new driver is responsible for the BSOD error. To bring your PC back to normal, you have to roll back that driver. Step 1. Go to search bar, type device manager, and press enter. Step 2. Locate the recently updated driver, right-click it, and pick Properties. Step 3. Navigate to the Driver tab, then hit Rollback Driver. Step 4. When the rollback wraps up, restart your computer and see how things turn out. Clean Boot. Step 1. Go to search bar, type system configuration and press enter. Step 2. Navigate to services tab. Choose hide all Microsoft services and select disable all. Step 3. Navigate to the startup tab. Hit open task manager and disable everything in your site. Step 4. Close Task Manager, go back to System Configuration and hit OK. Step 5. Restart your computer. For your information, following a clean boot, Windows prevents third-party apps from running. If the BSOD error shows no signs of returning, you could conclude that an application is the root of the trouble. As a precaution, you should uninstall recently installed third-party apps. Feel free to change back to normal startup once the uninstallation wraps up. Run Windows Memory Diagnostic. Step 1. Go to Search Bar. Type Windows Memory Diagnostic and press Enter. Step 2. Hit Restart Now and check for problems. Recommended. Step 3. Allow the process to go all the way. Use System Restore. Step 1. Go to Search Bar. Type System Restore and press Enter. Step 2. Click System Restore, pick a restore point, and initiate the restoration. Step 3. Determine whether the issue persists.